Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from downforsoundshop.com and another rapid fire question segment. This is gonna be session number nine. But first, my name is Jonathan Price, owner and operator of downforsoundshop.com and this YouTube channel, which is two of the fastest growing things in car audio. If you will, hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time we drop a video and you'll get it sent to your inbox and you'll be able to check it out first. All right, let's get into this. I'm gonna knock out some of y'all's questions that you ask in the comment section of the videos. And uh, we see them there and we go through and answer them for you. So I can have some more interaction with you guys. All right, so a first question is Charles Hale. How important is the balancer in a lithium setup? I'm running 40 amp hours of excess yin long lithium. Should I be worried about, sorry, should I be worried running it without a balancer? Um, it's always better to have a balancer, but with the LTOs, you probably are in the safest boat with if you're not going to run a balancer. So I would suggest it, but my, my Tahoe doesn't have a balancer on there. So, and we've been running that setup for a long time and haven't had any issues out of it. But a lot of these other lithium chemistries, you definitely want to have a balancer on there because you can have some big time problems when it, when you don't have them balanced properly. So uh, that's my two cents on that question. Next question is Walter Cotton. Um, my car has a factory sound system with amplifiers, six speakers, dash, front door, rear deck. I was to, if, well, it says I was to switch speakers to six and a half, so I'm thinking he meant to say if I was to switch them to six and a half of whatever brand, but nothing but bass comes out of the doors, any solutions? That's gonna have to do with your crossover settings. If you're only getting bass out of your doors, uh, it has to do with the crossover settings. Usually, I mean, you can have some mid-bass, but it shouldn't be nothing but bass unless your crossovers are just way wrong. So you need to have somebody tune it for you if you don't know how um, and kind of go from there. But that would be the reason if you say you had factory speakers and nothing but bass was coming out of them or you swapped them to whatever brand and you still have nothing but bass coming out of there, that's definitely a crossover setting. You just not set properly. So you need to change your crossover settings or have somebody do it for you that knows what they're doing. Next uh, question is from Nick, just Nick. Uh, hey JP, I have a question about crossovers. I know the main crossover is on the amplifier, but since my head unit also has crossovers, should I also use those with the amplifier or just stick to only using the amplifier? In my opinion, if you have an amplifier, I would suggest using that because that's gonna be the last thing that the you, before your speakers, you're sending the signal from your amplifier to your speakers, so I would, set everything flat on your head unit and just use the crossovers on your amplifiers. That's what I would do and that's what I would suggest. Jason Wellborn, JP I have a question. Uh, currently running a single SA Classic 12, which is this subwoofer right here ironically, on my JP95. Would I gain loudness if I swap to a SA V2 1000 watt? Would I get more bump or would I need to upgrade to a bigger amp? You would if you you probably would get like a little bit louder it's not going to be like night and day louder you could get a little bit louder because you have more motor force there to deal with the power that you're uh, putting on it even if say you're running it at one ohm on the classic you're running it one ohm on the sav2 uh, it's just going to be able to handle the power a little bit better so you would be if i had to guess marginally louder is it going to be night and day of course not you're still running the same amount of power so if you're looking at um, getting louder like on an SAV2 I would definitely suggest increasing power to something like a SAV 1500 if you're really smart with it a JP 23 that's a little hot for it but or SA uh, sorry SFB uh, 2000 any of these amplifiers you could run on there if you're being smart with it pay attention but you would be increasing the power on it along with the subwoofer being bigger beefier able to handle more power like it should be so um, just doing the swap it's gonna be very minimal but obviously if you did the swap to the v2 sub where it's a bigger motor uh, bigger everything and more power you're definitely going to be louder so uh, I was about to leave out Pedro Salazar <laughs> uh, his question is I have a D4S LTO battery I have a D4S LTO batteries when I get back from a trip every five days uh, when I turn the truck on initially, 
starts charging at 15.4 to 15.6, then tapers down to the 14.4 volts after a minute or so. Will that damage the lithium? If so, should I get a step down or something similar? So uh, it's probably not going to damage it in the short span, like it, it being a short time. But it, if I had to say it's going to decrease the life of the lithium is like because you are surpassing that never exceed 14.8 volts even if it is for a short amount of time you're still exceeding that and that's why it says 14.8 do not ever exceed even though it's just for a short time that's just like it's almost like smoking a cigarette i guess like you smoke one cigarette it's not a big deal but if you smoke the cigarette every single day or like over a course of years you're shortening your life you're killing yourself faster basically so Anyway, on the short term, no, you're probably not going to notice anything, but the longer that happens and you overcharge it like that, it's going to start shortening the life of the battery. Um, but anyway, this has been the rapid fire question session nine, and I look forward to doing number 10 with you guys. So if you have any questions regarding car audio, drop them in the comment section below, and you could be the next person that I answer on a rapid fire question session. Appreciate you joining me. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and enable notifications so you know every time I drop a video here and you'll be the first one to be able to check it out. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Later. What's happening, guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price, and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there, so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.